Okay, we got a topic today. Matter of fact, this topic uh, we talked about on the audio podcast the other day, but it it, it, re- it refers back to freight brokering. Uh, Joanna had sent us a message and uh, basically said, Hey, Mike, I'm a new freight broker. I need some help with shipper packets and carrier packets. Now, uh, Joanna went on to say, hey, can you help me get that? Well, it's not a matter of us helping you get that. You should already have it. Or the information you need, the material, the documents you need to be able to create these packets. These packets, the shipper packet, obviously going to be going to the shipper, your customer. The carrier packet's going to be going to the trucking companies that have agreed to move a load for you. You need to get them set up. Matter of fact, in a future video, uh, we'll probably be talking about how to uh, vet a carrier. Okay, that's very important. When I say vet, checking out a carrier, make sure if you are a broker that you want to use that trucking company to haul your loads. Because going back to uh, 2010, the CSA, when that was initiated, that created a uh, issue for brokers and shippers. And that issue became a liability issue. So, anyway, I thought that'd be for a future video. Now, let's get back to the question at hand. Shipper packets and carrier packets. Well, the shipper packet, pretty simple. It's a basic documentation the customer needs from you to be able to start using you as one of their brokers. What is this information? Well, obviously, it's going to be your authority. You have to have a copy of your license, your broker license, which is also known as your uh, broker authority. You're going to need to include your property broker surety bond, proof of your property broker surety bond, $75,000 property broker surety bond. Other than that, uh, if you've got insurance, an insurance accord, proof of insurance, uh, be it contingent cargo, general liability, things of that nature, you'll want to include that in the package. And uh, you will also want to include to the shipper in the shipper packet your completed W-9. Okay, the customer is going to need that because they're going to be uh, paying you. So they need to, that for their uh, tax records. Now, I'm going to stop here for a minute. We're going to talk about terminology just for a, a quick second. I, I'm using two different terms there. I'm saying shipper and customer. Understand that even though these are interchangeable terms, words, uh, they actually have two very distinct definitions. Okay, first of all, let's talk about shipper. The shipper is where the load is actually picking up, the origin for the load. The customer is the entity that is paying to move that load. Okay, paying to move the load, that is the customer. So, understand the customer might be the shipper, the shipper might be the customer, the customer might be in Los Angeles, but the uh, uh, shipper might be in Dallas. In other words, customer that's paying for the load might be in L.A., but the load's picking up in Dallas. So it'd be, you know, two different definitions there. So just understand that going forward. All right, back to uh, Joanna's question. What about the carrier packet? Carrier packet's going to be pretty similar to your shipper pack, except you're not going to provide the carrier any insurance information. As a broker, you're not required to carry insurance anyway, but you're going to probably find you need it to get customers, uh, to get people to work with you. Uh, this, again, goes back, just just uh, makes the uh, customer feel a little bit more warm and fuzzy because they know, okay, the carrier is going to have insurance, but if something goes wrong there, they know you've got insurance as well. See what I mean? Uh, but you don't want the carrier to know that. Here's why. If the carrier knows you have insurance, something goes wrong on the load, well, guess what? You're going to spend the next several days... Uh, uh, several days uh, trying to get it through the carrier's head that you are not going to file a claim on your insurance because it's their responsibility. It's going to go through their insurance, not yours. So best to just leave that out anyway. But in your carrier package, you're going to have your, obviously, uh, your authority, a uh, copy of your bond. I will always include a blank W-9 that is just to remind the carrier they need to send me a completed W-9. Uh, 
you know, with the pre-made documents, PDF documents anymore that have the shipper packet, carrier packet, not like it used to be when it was all fax. It was real easy for a carrier not to fax you over their W-9. So, but now everything's pre-packaged. They just attach it to the email and it goes, goes out. Another thing you will need in your carrier packet, that is going to be the broker carrier agreement. This is known as, uh, well, the legal terminology, continuing contract. That is uh, the contract between you and the trucking company. Now, it's known as a continuing contract because anytime that trucking company moves a load for you in the future, okay, that uh, load confirmation, you're going to create a load confirmation for that carrier for the load they've agreed to move for you. But that load confirmation will become part of that original broker-carrier agreement, uh, hence the term continuing contract. Get the idea? Uh, other than that, you you know, you may want to put uh, other information in there, too. Just, you know, keep keep it to the basics, what the shipper needs, what the carrier needs. Uh, you'll probably hear from uh, shippers in the future that they're going to say, hey, don't, uh, don't send me a book. Just send me what I need. Because there's a lot of brokers out there that, you know, the, the, the customer only needs five or six pages. But the broker, they include, you know, 20 other pages of non-essential information trying to sell them on their brokerage. Well, hey, guess what? Guess what, Mr. Broker? The customer's already sold because they want your broker information. So keep that in mind. All right. All right, Joanna, you, you've got it. You got it twice. You got your... Uh, question answered twice you got it on the audio podcast and you uh, also got it on the uh, video podcast so you're doing good for 2022